Hello and thank you for joining us in our podcast called The Growth Journey. This is the place where you will start your personal growth and development. I'm glad you're here. I am your host, Cheryl Hart. Many of you have come to me and asked on how to do networking as if there is a secret formula on how to do networking effectively. It was also been the most asked questions, especially to those who are just graduated in college and those who have a business degree and sometimes to those who are already in their established career and would like to learn more how to expand their network and meet new people. So I'm glad that this question has been asked been asked about and this is what inspired me to create this specific topic on networking. What I'm about to share with you is based on my own real life experiences and what works for me. I have never attended any workshop or paid a course to teach me how to do networking. It seems I am very natural about doing this and had helped me along the way both in my career, business and my own personal growth and development. So this is what I'm going to share with you, my life experiences on how to be effective in networking. So first, let's define networking. So networking by definition is the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. So why networking is important to your success? Networking is important because it will allow you to meet people who are ready to introduce you to other related people in your business, to know people so you can provide support or add value to them, or perhaps someone who can help you for other growth opportunities and vice versa. So according to the article in TAP Resume for Career and Advice, the most connected people are often the most successful. When you invest in your relationships, personal and professional, it can pay you back in dividends throughout the course of your career. So networking will help you develop and improve your skill set. Stay on top of the latest trends in your industry. Uh, Keep a pulse on the job market, which is very important, especially if you are looking for other job opportunity right now or if you think about um, other job Perhaps your job will be eliminated due to downsizes or what have you. So through networking, you will also meet prospective mentors, partners, sponsors, clients, and gain access to the necessary resources that will foster your career development. So I believe that networking should be your number one priority. If you are shy or introverted type of person, then that's okay. You can still network or meet people. In in my experience, you do not need to try very hard to network or go to big events to network. In fact, I prefer to network randomly, either at the coffee shop, at the airport, at the restaurant, at the restaurant patio, at the bar, anywhere really. So now I'm thinking, huh, if I ever have talked to someone in a bathroom or toilet, but anyway, I hope you get the point. I am more successful there, uh, meet people in a random. Um, They are not in a professional setting where you are expected to meet people. As an extroverted myself and have a social butterfly personality that I should say, uh, that I think I can conquer the, the whole room full of people, right? Because if you're extroverted and you have a social butterfly personality, you're not afraid to talk to anyone, you can conquer the room full of people. Well, it is not. The more fruitful conversation I have had, the most and effectively I connected with people is through a one-on-one conversation. There's something about having a one-on-one conversation and also the least unexpected scenario. Now I'm thinking about it at one point that I didn't know that I am talking to a CEO in one of the leading company in the industry, a politician, a sports athlete, a VP of one of the high-end cruise lines in the world, and not to mention, well, my neighbor, to whom I didn't know she is living a few blocks away from me, and she's been living there for 25 years. 
and she's a Libra librarian so I was able to connect with her and get some tips which books that I will be good for the kids so those are the most memorable to me so here are the top three reasons why those unexpected and one-on-one -on -one conversation or connecting with a person will absolutely do work in networking and you do not need you do not need to be technical about it so here's the number one number one is you've got to know them better so both personally and professionally so if they are not in a business setting and are out and about you can tell who they really are and what they are about when they are in their comfort setting so if you notice people act differently when they are in a business or in a professional setting they talk differently they acted out or behave differently but when they are out in the business setting you can get to know them more on a personal level so connecting is about getting to know the person more in a personal level because this is who they really are. So that's important. The second one is the initial conversation is not scripted. Unlike in a professional setting, you have to think about your elevator pitch. Has any of you heard about elevator pitch? Well, in which not every one of us are fond of. Seriously, who likes and actually applying it at all times? No one does. At least as far as I know or as far as I'm aware of, others despise it and hated it. In your mind, you'll say, I don't want to think about my elevator pitch. What is that anyway? So the thing is, if you are not comfortable to talk to people or give your elevator pitch, it will be a disaster. Oh, it sounds painful to hear and watch someone to do it. It doesn't come out naturally to you. However, if you have to somehow break the ice right somehow you have to have a uh, break that ice and come up with a brilliant dialogue to a person will notice you and hopefully start a conversation so if you study about elevator pitch you go ahead you can google it you can go to the website how to create one a scripted one if that's what you wanted to do but for me i'm more into the relaxed and unscripted approach so here are a few examples of that unscripted approach and it's very simple with no elevator pitch whatsoever. Are you ready? Okay, so here we go. So when my colleague and I are in Miami and doing a trade, trade show, it was actually a busy day at the trade show so we are ready for dinner. I was in the lobby uh, waiting for them to come down so we can go out to eat and that's what we do best, right? <laughs> we eat. While I was sitting in the lobby, there's actually a guy who's sitting about, you know, sits about probably one chair away from me, and he pop up his snacks or chips. And I say, it was the Dorito brand chips, actually. And then I said, hey, Dorito sounds good about right now, doesn't it? And he said, yes, it is. Then he offered me, would you like some? And I said, sure, little did I know. He works as a journalist in BBC News and they are in Miami to cover the Democratic debate U.S. presidential. It was just that. From Dorito Chips and we have been friends and we hang out uh, with, with my friends and my family throughout our trip. So just simple as that. You just never know who you're going to meet along the way. So what is my elevator pitch? The Doritos. How cool is that, right? Very simple. So I should have created a commercial for this, actually, brand of Doritos. So if any one of you who is listening right now and know and you work at that company, contact me and let's connect and let's talk about the Doritos incident. So another one is at the restaurant in a patio. So my colleague and I just ordered our food and drinks. Then we decided to sit down outside on the restaurant patio. It was a nice summer day and a nice view outside, so why not, right? We should enjoy it, the view and the, uh, the summer breeze and all that. So we, we were looking for a place to sit down, and there's one guy that I saw who is sitting there by himself, and I thought it was a perfect spot for, spot for us to sit down too. So I then walked towards with him, and I asked if he is by himself and if it's okay for us to sit down at his table. 
Then I added, say hi. I promise we will be quiet and won't be too loud. I know you look so peaceful here. If it is okay, we sit down. And he said, sure, please sit down. Then my colleague and I started talking about work and all. But then I felt bad not talking to the guy since he, he let us sit down on the table. So I then decided to start talking to him instead. I've asked, you know, what brings him here? Is it for vacation or a holiday or for work or what have you? And he said, for work. And then I asked him, so what do you do? And he said, well, I've worked at the cruise line in, as a sales and marketing. When I've heard cruise line, since I love cruises, now that piqued my interest. Then I asked for more questions, more qu information about cruise line, how they become the top of the line, how they become the high end thing, and who is the rankest one, you know. So all of these questions I gathered from him and throughout our conversation. And ending up, it is the highest end, high end cruise line that he, where he works with. And he's been working a cruise line for 30, 30 years, so three decades. And he works now in a high-end cruise line, um, the most expensive out there that only rich people can afford to cruise on. So that's how we got connected. And up to this date, uh, we still keep in touch. So these are some scenarios that I have experienced more recently. And there are many more ex examples and experiences I can share with you from more than a decade ago. Uh, I've been applying to and to do networking so this is my way of life now i do network whatever i go wherever i want i talk to anyone anywhere i go so i just wanted to demonstrate that that networking should not be very hard for you there are times we just make it hard we can converse a dialogue about anything and everything depending on the situations you can find humor about it on how you guys first met and connected it is more memorable if it is not scripted and it's actually flow naturally and if it's just out of the blue, you've met people. You can go back and say, hey, remember how we first met? And if it's a funny story and a great one to share, it is worth to talk about again the next time you guys meet again. Or it is a great story to tell with others. I'm sure you have had experiences some of this before and if you do go back and see how did you did you feel about meeting new people and connected with with them which is one that comes naturally to you and it doesn't seem like it was forced to do it when you figure it out what best what works best for you then I'll suggest that you do more of that do more of that at all times it doesn't matter if it's scripted or not the important is you've met people and that you've connected with them good so the third one is networking with others should be intentional so if you have never done networking before or you are not doing this at all times you will feel overwhelmed I get it. We all have a busy life. We are busy either in our business or work, family, kids, and we do not have any spare time or even energy to go out there and do network. If you are looking at networking as another task to do, yes, you will feel stressed out and overwhelmed and this is why you don't want to do it. However, if you're looking at networking differently as a way of valuing people and curious about what's out there and also to add this in your personal growth, if you are looking at it not a task, instead looking at it as a way of life, then it is not so much like work anymore. You can give a person smile, a firm shake hands, help a mom push an escalator or a stroller at the park open doors and from other people. Any good deeds that you can do to help others, even if a small ways, those are a great start and can converse a dialogue, even if it is just in two minutes of talking to them. And that's it, two minutes of your time, that's all it takes. And it, if you have more than two minutes, then make, make time for it and go for it. It has to be intentional. 
let me let me take a pause here for a little bit you probably hear the noise in the background um actually we just have um, our gar um, garbage truck trying to pick up our garbage <laughs> so i apologize if you do hear noise in the background something you know um a container as i say a container is picking up so yes this is a real life i'm recording this in the real life world that we do have garbage pick up today so i just apologize for that but i will keep going on so here are the two key points that i always remind myself when i am out and about either in a grocery stores coffee shop at the restaurant and meeting new people and it's very simple again very simple so letter a uh, the two key points is letter a who do i help or add value to that's the number one who did i help or add value to letter b what did i learn if i have had a great dialogue what did i learn from our conversation and that's how you become intentional when meeting new people my final thought on our topic today about networking, as you hear me say many times over about connecting with people or connecting, well, let me explain why this is. If you recall in episode number four, which is the importance of connecting, feel free to re-listen to it again or if you have missed, go back in episode number two to learn more about the importance of connecting. So networking is all about connecting with people. If you know how to connect, you will be able to meet people that you would not would like to meet. There's a deeper dive lessons about on how to connect with people effectively. And I run a mastermind group on this for about eight weeks. And fortunately for you, this is also available in our premium membership subscription on how to become a better connector with others i will teach you not just how to communicate with people but also how to connect with them there's a difference between communicating and connecting the deeper dive lessons is called everyone communicates few connects which is based on the book written by my mentor john c maxwell if you want to learn and mastery on a better communicator, this lesson is for you. Again, if you sign up in our premium membership, this will be automatically included and available to you here in our podcast. If you have not yet signed up, now is the time to join my membership program and I will teach you how to become a better con connector. There's also a great quote that I have learned about networking and connecting and this is, your net worth is based upon your network so if you want to be successful in your career in your life and in a and as a result your wealth and income will also grow so change your network it will then grow your net worth in summary i hope you have learned something today the importance of networking and how do you network even if you are an introverted and or do not like to attend big events to network. So the top three reasons that unexpected and one-on-one -on -one network do work because one, you get to know them better in a professional and personal level. Two, the initial conversation is not scripted, it's real. Three, networking with others should be intentional. So the two key points to become intentional is A, who I can help or add value to. B, what did I learn? You can always network whatever you are or however you want. You just have to treat it as a way of life, a way of your life, not just a task or a work that you just have to do it. It has to become natural to you. And more importantly, enjoy the access to the experience and the people you will meet along the way. Also, you have to have fun you gotta have fun while doing it it will be more easier to you to connect with others if you are having fun and enjoying yourself while doing it so in closing just a few reminders for you if this is the first time tuning in in our podcast and i thank you and welcome you to our growth journey you are tuning in because Perhaps someone refer you to our podcast or you may have found us in a website or via ad or what 
whatever the reason might be, you are tuning in because you knew that you can be more and you have potential to grow but you just don't know where to begin or to start and who can help you to get there. I'm glad you are here and made that decision. So feel free to subscribe so you will get notification and keep you up to date for the new episodes that we release every Sundays. And you can listen to it anytime you want. That's the beauty of the podcast. Also, if you think this podcast had helped you in some ways or had inspired you and given you courage, so please share this podcast to anyone. To anyone you know, either your friends, family, colleagues, your neighbor, people you just met somewhere or whoever, feel free to share this podcast so they too can learn for all the lessons that we are learning here. No matter how old or experienced or young they are, everyone needs to grow. And they are plenty, plenty of rooms to grow and improvement. To make improvement, practice on how or having abundance mindset and beginner's mindset. There are so many lear- things to learn and experience in our life and in our world. So when you, you, when you do share our podcast to someone, you too are making a difference to their lives. Our goal of this podcast is to make an impact and make a difference to the life of others. In one person at a time, one community at a time, and one nation at a time. The last piece that I would like to mention is that if you would like to start, really start investing in your own personal growth and take this complimentary podcast episode to the next level and help you to become more and to be more, take that next step forward and join my membership program. As a trainer, coach, and mentor, I am now opening up the opportunity for you all to join my membership club All our deeper dive teaching on the 15 valuable laws of growth today matters. Deeper dive on connecting, which is what we discussed today about networking is about connecting with people and to help you to become a better connector. If you are a leader, a leadership to become a better leader for your team, to become a better salesperson so you can sell anything and everything you want and more importantly, to expand your personal growth and development. And this is for you. In our premium membership subscription, we will provide you many tools and resources available to you to equip equip you and to help you to reach your full potential. I will share many resources and tools that is only available to our premium membership and many bonus offerings. To learn more, you can visit our podcast website at www.sharethatpadbean.com. To sign up, you have to to go to this website, our premium to www.shareheart.padbean.com to sign up and to get more details. You can select either bi-weekly or monthly or yearly premium subscription and also this information are available via text box for your reference. So if you want to scroll down in this episode, there's text behind it or below it. You can see the, uh, the link and some additional information about the premium membership. So if you truly want to invest in your own personal growth and would like to improve as to where you are today and where you want it to be, join us. And I look forward to see you there. You can also reach me via email address at share at shareiheart.com. So with that, always remember, if you don't invest in your own personal growth, no one will. Take care and be well.